All right, we're back. Circle and Back podcast presented by Busy Hard Seltzer, the only hard seltzer out there is Superfruit Acerola, giving you all the vitamin C you need. My name's Will DeFreeze. To my left, David Carter Ruff. In light of recent developments with my, um, I guess, back situation, I am uh, reinstating my policy of maintaining posture, perfect posture, throughout the entire episode, and I want you guys to hold me to it. Okay. So with your back, it, it just out? hurts. <laughs> that's really inappropriate. Like that's not even that's not a joke we would. I'm just concerned about your back. It's a question. Absolutely a joke we would do. Yeah, that's kind of like our whole thing, actually. I thought. Think How's your neck? Watching television is what gets me. <laughs> My couch is too deep. Okay, what's the damage on that yeah. deep ass couch, dude? Wow. That's that's flex. I can only afford a shallow one, man. Yeah. Probably got it from Target. Oh, okay. There's nothing wrong with that. That table on the, on the back porch is a Target special. One of our favorites. Why does outdoor furniture cost a million dollars? The bark cart you like so much of ours is Target. Target's got some dope shit. They do. No, our couch is not from Target. I don't know where we got that, but there's no blood on it, so it's kind of annoying. Oh, it's that's like, weird. I, I don't know why none of the movers decided to uh, bleed on it. Hey, what was with the blood situation uh, on Friday? One of the guys doing the glass, like he was like, you got any paper towels? I'm like, um, yeah. And he goes... Was he hunky? He he was telling his buddy, no, he wasn't. No, these are glass guys. Yeah, they weren't right. the hunks. It was but, just the glass guys. I know. But they we were a nice guy. I like them both. But he was just like telling his buddy, he's like, he said, I'm leaking. And I was like, what? Is she, she leaking? I'm like, you are? Yeah. And I was just up here. And he was he had like a cut on his hand. I was like, are you going to leave that on the glass like the the hunk did for our couch? <laughs> Why does everyone that comes into our our place of business to do work why do they bleed everywhere yeah, why do they leave blood behind like we're we're pretty much two for two at this point we haven't really done that much I still feel kind of bad we sold the the blood couch to that nice lady that came in here blood couch we got the, it all, uh, the white glove guy though he didn't bleed to well, our was, knowledge why didn't we make the interns just eat it instead of giving it away it's a great question Dylan Shivery ladies and gentlemen <sighs> just stare at it I, I introduced you at the 230 mark other people know that as dentist time. That's ex that's acceptable. That's an acceptable intro time. Uh, thank you. I am very happy to be here. Right. Had a nice long weekend of swimming. <laughs> Worn out, man. Swimming will take it out of you. Yeah. 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 But I'm happy to be here, man. It's going to be a sneaky fun week, I think. We got sneaky. Some, there's some good stuff in the hopper this week. Hey, can we do a major announcement right now, actually? I want to get this out there. Yeah, it we're, needs to happen. We're three minutes in, but we got a tight timeline to work with. Guys, we got a major tight, announcement. Tight you guys ever heard of this place called Houston, Texas? Tuco. It's pretty close to us. Yeah, I have. You can keep doing it. Do your Tuco, actually. He's the one how, who brought how it back would Tuco up. I was announce us going to Houston for a meetup. Oh, tight, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So all, if you guys want to join us as well as Tuco from Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul, uh, we will be in Houston on July 9th. It's a Saturday. If you can come in just for the day, by all means, make it happen. Uh, we'll have more details on this when we have them. But plan on July 9th, Houston, Texas, whole crew meeting up. Going to be a fun time. Going to be a sweaty time, but guess what? I don't care. You, you got to just embrace the sweat. Just know you're going to sweat. Lean into it and have fun with the boys. That's what we're asking. Yeah. I'm going, uh, I'm going tech polos only. Oh, yeah. 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 Wear your best sweat fit. Wear whatever you feel comfortable jersey swapping because I'm going to jersey swap with someone at this meetup. I, I will jersey swap as well. I might wear a fresh, I might wear like a fresh new rowback. So whoever I jersey, I, I, so I have like more of a, a negotiating chip. I can't wait to jersey swap at the very end of the meetup. So we're just swapping just nasty, sweaty polos. Yeah, let me tell you. I want to smell like a random dude named Blake who flew in from North Carolina or I'm something. Definitely bringing a backup shirt. Oh, I dude, I did that. I don't want to ruin my weekend and fun, but I brought a change of shirts for the golf course yesterday. I don't hate that. Tiger changed shirts. Tiger off. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie. After I changed my shirt, it changed everything. I was I was lights out from that point on. Wow. What yeah. did you? No, we're not here to talk about that. I we'll shot do that a, in the next segment. I shot a 91. Uh, hey, job, buddy. Hey, thank you. You know, after after the the front nine 48, it felt it felt pretty good to get it back. It's a good comeback. Yeah. Uh. I don't, we don't really have too many details for you right now other than we do have the, the date of July 9th. But other than that, we'll, we will uh, be 
leaking. I don't want to. I don't want to put my my people in Dallas on blast, but I think this one's going to be bigger. I think the Houston one's going to be bigger than Dallas. Which one's higher up on our um, listener? I think they're neck and list. neck. Okay. Just neck game, stupid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we had to, our last Dallas meetup was bonkers. Are we going to mix in an El Tiempo? Maybe. Stop? Yeah. Yeah. Could we do an early one before the bar? Maybe. Maybe. We have to have the meet up like later in the day. I need the sun to go down while we're meeting up. Right. So I think yeah. we do a lunch El Tiempo and okay. parlay that right into the meet up. That's going to be a long day. Wow. I, want, I want whoever I jersey swap with, I want it to smell like I just had sizzling fajitas. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this will be a fun one. Uh, also... Go check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash watch media. We put out a new video last week. Uh, Dylan got his little redemption story. Just go check it out. Like and comment. I'm not going to lie. Whether it's our video that we put out the other day or just our general episodes that you're listening to now, I've been loving looking at YouTube comments lately. Really? What are they? What kind of stuff are they talking about? Dude, are they th- talking about us uh, showing our feet? They're good. No, no. We actually have good comments now. Yeah. It, well, like well, You can tell that we're doing okay because we're getting better comments on YouTube's. Uh, that that's gonna change after today. Hey, yeah, someone's gonna go on there like, hey, yeah, this stinks. Major question alert right now. Yeah, she's a ten, is trending right now. Yeah. Did we start this movement? No, it's definitely sure? not in a ridge. It's not in a ridge, but I, I will say that we've been playing the game for much longer than it's been popular on the internet. Uh, I can tell that you're not on TikTok right now, Dylan. You're not doing much TikTok scrolling, are you? No. Yeah. Never. Because this has taken over TikTok. My entire How long feed has it been is popping. A couple weeks. Should okay. We cut a clip. I, we started. Ways. Yeah, let's ride we this started, wave. We started this. You can't convince me otherwise. But the way that they're doing it on TikTok is better than the way that we do it. Instead of saying that they're a 10 bud and then saying yes or no, they are saying what the flaw brings that person down to. I just clicked on the trending topic on Twitter and it's it's all of it's all she's a 10 butt jokes. Read us a couple. She's a 10 but she cried when one direction broke up. Uh, it makes her a nine and a half. She's a 10, but she listens to Oliver Tree. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. He's either. really good. She's a 10, but she wishes her boyfriend a happy Father's Day for being a dog dad. That one's kind of funny. That's 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 all of us that's in an 2022. Eight. She's an eight now. My, we love our fur babies. She's a 10, but she doesn't know that her or a loved one may... Uh, this is worded incorrectly, but it ends uh, financially compensated if they have mesothelioma. So that one's... They they tried to land a plane, but they couldn't. It would have been funny. Anyway, we started this. Yeah, we're the, we're the pioneers of the segment. internet. You're essentially Al Gore. Hi, hey guys. Is that your Al Gore? Yeah. Do your tipper now. I don't remember tipper. I just know Shipnuck is obsessed with the Gore daughters. Yeah, what? I forgot that that was person him. talking about the Gore daughters in the year 2000. That guy's a weirdo. He's, His book's really good. He just he gives me weird vibes. Is it, maybe it's because he looks like Chris D'Elia, and Chris D'Elia gives me weird vibes. Okay, I guess he kind of looks like Chris D'Elia. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I actually won the election, but the hanging chads. Sorry, I don't really know how he talks. Uh, this one's pretty relatable. She's a ten, but has absolutely no interest in me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a true it? loser. I'm yeah. a piece of shit. Oh. Chicks hate me. She's a ten, but she uses goggles in the pool. That's funny. Dude, that make that actually. Grow I think up. that adds points. That's like, kind of hot. That's smart. Grow up. I want to find a girl that's cool enough to wear goggles in the pool. She doesn't care. Okay, I'm I'm done reading those. All right, if you guys want to head over to Patreon.com/slash Circling Back Podcast, we're doing Dad Pod tomorrow. Get your questions in. You can submit those by going to WatchMedia.com/slash Submit. Put a link on Twitter and a link on our Instagram story as well. Go check that out. But without further ado, it's time to recap this weekend in fun presented by Mugsy. Mugsy's are the most comfortable men's jeans on the planet, built for proprietary stretch denim. These jeans look stylish, but feel like you're wearing sweatpants. I love these things. I have a love affair with Muggsy jeans at this point. Can't say enough good things about Muggsy these days. They're the most damn comfortable jeans on the, on the planet. They look good and they feel good and they're reasonably priced. What, what more do you want in a pair of jeans, honestly? Yeah. yeah. Also, they're damn fine people as they contributed to Parks' little fundraiser thing. Oh, that so, is fact. Can you explain yeah. to the people what they did? You're, if you're supporting Muggsy, you're supporting some really good people. Yeah, so... My son Parks, he did a little lemonade stand um, when he tried to raise money to donate to um, an organization called Every Town for uh, they advocate for gun safety, the end of gun violence. And uh, so Parks 
was raising money to donate, and Mungzi contributed one thousand dollars. That's a, that's a stack. Yeah, Big some shots. call it a rack. Even it is a rack. Yeah, one rack for the little man. Dude, and guess what? Not only are they doing that, they also just released ten fresh new designs for their swim collection. Yeah, I'm talking about the greatest thing to hit pools since cannonballs. Mugsy Swim. You can choose your ride of two potential inseams, seven and nine inches. These things have no effing netting. Dude, cut that netting out. Get that thing out of there. Yeah, you're out of here, yeah. buddy. Bye. And they have a super stretch fabric that makes for quicker drying services. So free your balls from uncomfortable swimsuits this year. With Mugsy, you can get 10% off your entire order using promo code STEAM. Do your legs a favor and head on over to Mugsy.com. Pick up a pair of the most comfortable clothes ever worn. That's Mugsy.com for 10% off your entire order using promo code STEAM. Again, get the most comfortable men's clothing on the planet Earth at Mugsy.com and use promo code STEAM for 10% off your order. Dylan, what did you do this weekend? Uh, thank you for asking, Will. Friday, I, I had a quiet night, but um, my wife went out with some friends, ended up at Deep Betty, so I had to, I had to go drive, basically to go pick her up, drive, oh. drive her home. She was on one. I got a picture of her, like, putting a picture back. Anyway, she got into one Friday. So you're you're just the DD on Friday night. Yeah, I, I mean, basically, yeah. I mean, I had fun too, but yeah. Saturday, uh, watched some golf, watched some baseball. Uh, then we had a little dinner situation with um, a couple that is good friends with uh, Brittany. Well, they were in Mexico. I've been to Mexico before. Yeah, so we had a little a little dinner date with them. Um, that was fun. Got a drink afterward. Nice, nice night. And then Sunday, Father's Day, man, just I'm mobbed with parks. We swam for like three hours straight yesterday. Just he What was, does he like to play in the pool? He likes to play tag. Okay. That's so much better than Marco Polo, dude. He's 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 become a, a good little swimmer and he just he likes to play tag. He wants to swim around and chase me and then I'll chase him back. And the the outdoor pool situation at Lifetime, which is where we went swimming, is really fantastic. They brought me they brought us a really great cheeseburger, actually. I was surprised. It was very at Lifetime good. at your yes. gym? It was very good. Did you see they swapped the men's and women's restrooms temporarily? No. Yeah. What? They sent out an email this morning. I guess they're doing maintenance. I don't know, but be careful. Are there women using the urinal? I'm sorry. I don't, that's inappropriate. What, what they do is not my business. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really, I don't even want to touch yeah, that. I guess you weren't in there. I just wanted to point out. I just didn't want you to walk into the wrong one. Anyway, outside at the at the pool, they have these these really tall, like, is it two-story slides, you know, like soda straw type slides. It's yeah. a cool spot. And Parks, For he finally got the courage to to uh, try it. And now I he went probably 25 times on these slides. It was awesome. He had a big day swimming. Then we had a nice little Father's Day dinner with the fam. What'd you eat? You microwave your classic salmon? We went to Carve. Oh, Carve. Carve. It was, Carve. It was really great. Nice, nice family time. And uh, yeah, that was it, man. Great weekend. Dave? One time, uh, I hope he's not listening. One time, we we're my cousins were in town from D.C. And we went to uh, what was then Wet and Wild, but it's now Hurricane Harbor, across from Six Flags in Arlington. And uh, one of the, one of like the, 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 the safe, like very low key tunnel um, slides that drops off about 10 feet in the air. My cousin got, got to the end and stopped himself and was scared to go off the end. <laughs> so like they had to clear the pool and it was a whole big scene. Oh my God. And I was like, so, <laughs> I was such a dick. I was probably seven. I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh God. But yeah, he just sat there and they're like, come on, come on. And he finally, you know, water's like splashing all around him because he's he's like like clogging the the end of the slide up, dude. It, I, oh man, that's so funny. And it was like a weak water slide. It wasn't like he was on the Der Stuka. Oh, Der Stuka. Der Stuka. <laughs> wasn't on Shotgun Falls or the Bubba Tub. Just name dropping slides. This is Schlitterbahn territory dude. down here, so I can't relate to Hurricane Harbor. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan used to call his dorm room Shotgun Falls. I did. Yeah, we were just pounding beers, man. It was tight. Dude, it's frat. It was it was very frat. It was Schlitterbahn is so sick. I would love to go. Never been. It's so sick. Do I need to stop being so like under new management? Wary of 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 water parks. Yeah, what's your what's your deal? Do you think I don't know oh, germs. No, germs. I get it, dude. It's the it's the piss. No, one one oh, kid the, gets for me. In it's there. the piss. One kid gets in there and a little bit of poopy diaper gets out in there. Next thing you know, you could have an outbreak. Yeah, a lot they, of those rides are actually they use the. The spring water from the river there. 
Well, just, that doesn't make me feel better, actually. Yeah, I kind of I want the chemicals that kill the other chemicals. Okay, well, there's, there's plenty of that, too. Yeah, no, dude, you know, you're, not, you're not supposed to swim if you have, like, diarrhea or something? Like, you're telling me Correct. that every single person, not one of the other people has diarrhea. Has well, diarrhea at Schlitterbahn? Not one? Somebody slid into first you and fell something first. Okay, at dude, your They old, were sliding into, what? At your old apartment, when, when, like, 40 adults get in the pool and drink for four hours straight and never get out, you think you're not swimming in, like, 100% no, see, we See, the, the, we had the beauty. In my old apartment, I only went to the, I mainly went to the pool during lockdown when you had to make reservations. So there were about eight people there at all times. I went to your pool one time, and it was, it was that situation. Yeah, it was lit that, that one time. Fun. No, but here's why it's a little different. Because apartment pool, you're not really getting in past your shoulder. You're not, I'm not dipping my head in. Whereas like water park, when some of those slides, like you're you're getting submerged. Like, yeah. That's so I'm just true. saying, there's a lot that that doo doo feces water can spray around. I don't think it's that gross, man. It's not. I would still go. I'm gonna. I've got a, a young kid. Yeah. I, Parks is about that age, man. I, I'm talking dipping dots, turkey legs, mm. and a hell lemon, of a time. Uh, lemon chill. Lemon chills, absolutely. Oh, strawberry chill. Those things hurt mm -hmm. my tum tum, but they're they so good. good. <laughs> they're so good. <laughs> So good, and someone's someone's tube will uh, rub against a turkey. Your turkey oh, leg. Damn it! I thought you forgot about that. Yeah, mm. that happened. Oh, I can still hear it. I can hear the sound of the nylon tube rubbing against my turkey leg, mm. and me just looking at my just turkey holding it, and just like, what am I supposed to do now? It's just got schlitter bomb nothing you can all do all over the damn thing. My dad probably like, God, you can't waste that. Eat it. I fucking ate it. <laughs> You I would have eaten it? it too. I would have yeah. eaten it too. Is that, is that when your germ thing started? Probably, probably. For me, it. my favorite Dave Ruff food food blah story is uh, just the the no. thumbprint in the refried beans. Okay. I thought you were gonna tell my buddy Norris's cane story. I don't think I know the cane story. But now it's, people are gonna be clamoring like, for the cane like, story. I don't like talking about it. It's it's not even that big of a deal. But if you know the things that disgust me, hair. Hey, or being it, no. then, then you know that's that's the that's what it has to do with. But just, I had a dummy typo in a tweet just now. I'm just oh I'm, wow, my whole day is wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I meant on, beat, and I just dude. Beat. He's a ten, but he can't fucking tweet right. Did you delete it? No, I I did the follow up like with the asterisk thing, and it's that, I, it's dude, stupid. Can I say something about that? And I don't. I understand why you did it. I think that's worse. I don't want people to think I'm a I'm a total dumb dumb. You are dumb, though. I should just delete it. Oh, that is a... Okay. I should just delete it. No, you can't. You're already doing decent numbers. But it's like... If, it, if that were to, like, pop off, I look like a total... It, I just can Sometimes that gives it a little character, though. No. Terrible tweet, dude. Terrible tweet. Shaking my head. Don't... Maybe, maybe leave the soccer tweeting to me, Dylan. Maybe just don't be, quote, tweeting ESPN FC. Why do you think that's a soccer field? Because it's tweeted by ESPN FC. Oh. Like, this, uh, I'm making assumptions here. Dude, what'd that boy get into this weekend? Sorry, I'm, I got to craft a response tweet to Dylan's tweet. Oh, Jesus. Do, the, do your tweeting elsewhere. A million I, I a seat stadium. Really? No one cares. Daddy, Daddy got back into Peaky Blinders Friday night. Was it a bloody crime scene? Not a lot of Arthur in the first couple episodes. That's all I'll say. Man, to be honest, I didn't know that that was actually from that show. I put the new kind of not, but it might be, it could be. No, that's from real or fake pre workouts. Bloody crime scene. No, you're not saying it right. You got to say, Bloody crime scene. I put on Peaky Blinders thinking I was all caught up and I was not, and it ruined the whole situation for me. I, I can't, I don't know what to do now. Weird. Yeah, there's so a you lot. don't like it when things get spoiled for you, is what you're saying. No, that's, that's not You don't like I'm spoilers. Saying. I'm saying, like, I thought I had one season to watch and I really had like three to watch, and it totally threw me off. I don't know what to do anymore. Probably just, I'm probably do I need to get off. into Peaky? Is, Peaky? is Peaky the show that I'm botching right now? Have you watched zero episodes? Correct. Yeah, I, I think so. It's it, good. It's a fun show. I mean, it's, I don't think it's great, but I think it's, Better than good. It's between great and good. Does that help? Probably not. <laughs> no. As I search for the reply gif to Dude, Dylan. I'm sorry. I just this really, is brutal. I just wanted to. Okay. Wow, this is how the sausage is truly made. I got, into I got into Peaky. Back into Peaky. It's loving it. Three episodes deep so far. Made me want to go get that stupid Tommy Shelby haircut. But I can't because I'm balding significantly. <laughs> is that funny, Adam? <laughs> it is funny. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Saturday, 
woke up. What did we do, man? Oh, we went, met, met you and Sally and Fritz with Rhodes, and we had uh, some fajitas, some drinks. It was good. The kids were well-behaved. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm finally at a point with Fritz at restaurants where I can just put him in the, the, the whatever seat and just he pretty much just rides it out. They were right. fine. And people, people saw the photo and were like, oh, dude, is Fritz on one? I'm like, dude, he was fine the entire thing. He just got, he didn't want to do the photo. He hates photos. He dude. didn't want to do the photo. I respect all. how much he hates photos. You, you bust the camera out and he sees, the, he sees those three lenses staring at him. He's like, nah, I'm done. Damn. He's different. That's okay. Um, but that was a good time. And Saturday night, oh, uh, stop by your uh, mother-in-law's 60th birthday party. Got to see, felt like, a, just felt like a wedding reception. Just a lot of, a lot of moms out there dancing and grinding. Shout out to Jules. Yeah, I, to be honest, I, I, I knew it was, I kind of forgot that she was having a birthday party. And when Sally reminded me, I, I didn't really know what to expect. And, and you're kind of right. It, it it's a lot of moms just dancing. It was great. In leopard print. I'd like to apologize to any mom that tried to drag me uh, on the floor f during... Uh, they, they played about three songs that could be considered like mom rock songs. You know, like like the songs that you, the DJ puts on just to get the moms on the dance floor at weddings and stuff. Like Celebration by Cool and the Gang. I heard that song three times, I think. Yeah, it was it was a little bit. And there was, there was a t 10 minute period there where the moms were just dancing. How many more times do you wear that leopard print shirt moving forward? So I'm not going to lie. I, yeah, I, I'm just going to cuck your weekend in front a little bit, Dave, since do dude, it. I don't want to talk about the same thing. Yeah, w Sally's mom is obsessed with leopard print. And so we all wore, lep wore leopard print shirts for the party. Uh, I've... I, I do kind of want to keep my leopard print shirt to wear to like a, a pool party someday. But at the same time, uh, it's an absurd shirt. I put it in the washing machine last night and I, I decided that if it can make it through a wash and a dry, then it deserves to stay in the closet. If it can't even handle that, then it's going to have to get donated. It's a fairly low bar for a shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Mo most shirts I wear do, do make it past one wash. If you would have felt this shirt, you would have said, yeah, I can see why you might have concerns about it making through a wash. Is it fuzzy? It was just shitty. Oh, okay. just a not great shirt. It was fast fashion at its finest. Was it like my knockoff Dan Flash's shirt? Uh, Probably. I, maybe worse. Maybe I think I'd rather shirt. wear your knockoff Dan Flash's shirt. Did I take that home with me? If you don't, if you lost your Dan Flash's shirt, we're I gonna have, have to have fucking riot. It's got to be in one of the boxes over there in the corner. Yeah. Other than the, other other than her party, all I did this weekend was watch Love Island and eat tacos. Well, Sunday, Father's Day, as many of you are aware, and. Uh, we went and had brunch. Went to the Grove. It was fantastic. The Grove downtown. Good spot. Easy to get a table. Did they do a barbecue chicken pizza for you? No. Um, is that a thing they do? Yeah, but they don't do it during brunch, and Sally always has to beg them. You know I don't do chicken on pizza. It's a weird thing I've got. I don't know why. I'm not against it. I don't judge people who do I'm it. I'm pro barbecue chicken don't. pizza. I'm anti-chicken on most pizzas. I'm pro yeah, I, chicken on barbecue it, chicken. Dude, look, I'll, I'll take the L on it. It's a weird thing, but... Did that, had a couple glasses of rosé. Forgot how much I like rosé. Rosé during the day might be my favorite thing. So rosé is fantastic. So much, so much better than drinking like a, a beer. Because a beer is just going to make me tired and bloated. Rosé, I felt I'm a great. big rosé guy. Uh, then I watched the U.S. Open. It was fantastic. and <sighs> Just, a, just a nice little Sunday. Another runner-up for your man. Good. Willie you know Z? What, man? He's, Willie he's Z. won our Zala hearts. Tweezy? He's won our hearts. He has. I thought his dad was on the bag this entire time. Looks like his dad. Just a man. Who's just a dude. Okay. Not like uh, just a normal caddy. I thought uh, I was watching the tournament yesterday and I was like, why, why are they not pumping up the father son storyline of him? Like with his dad on the bag on father's day at the U S open. And I looked it up and I was like, Oh, it's not even his dad. It's just a dude that looks exactly like him. Did you see that Xander Shoffley's dad is Micah? Yeah, what's up with that? Dude, I, I, I <laughs> nobody responded to the last one, so I was like, oh, am I going too hard no, on No, that was hilarious. I was dying. Shout out to uh, Joe. It was Joe. I think he was one okay. of your old interns yeah. who DM'd me. Uh, it was like, dude, this is Micah. And Good dude, Joe. Xander's dad, even like, he also does look like Micah, but he just seems like a, a real interesting guy. The m Maybe the most interesting man on the planet. Like, <laughs> what's, I don't know. This dude's just. Rocking like linen on linen and fedoras. Fedoras. He's kind of encroaching on your fedora territory. I, I don't have. I've never had one. You've had one single fedora. It was a Panama hat. 
They sold them everywhere in Italy. Everyone had one on. <laughs> okay. Well, would it be, an wouldn't idiot. it be called an Italian hat if we're going by that basis? It makes a lot of if sense. If I was rock, walking around Positano without that hat, like people would be like, who's the idiot without the Panama hat on? Like I had to get Not one everybody wears a hat. Everyone. No one's wearing Like there's like 100% 10 people of the men there fedoras. had the, had a Panama hat on. It was no. dope. Why are Panama so, why is it so popular in Italy? They love Van Halen. I don't know. Might as well call it an Italy hat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That's fact. They're everywhere. Look it up. Sally made me a really big uh, meal for uh, Father's Day dinner last night. We had this Andy's mac and cheese. You guys seen this stuff? Just instant mac. I went too hard at Matt's yesterday. I ate five straight meals of tacos this weekend. For real? Yeah. How's that tum tum sitting? Fine. Just a little wider. So are you saying that you shouldn't get in the pool for like 24 I'm hours? I'm not saying that at all. all right, I'm, just, I'm not saying that at all. Just, I'm just Maybe you don't want to get in the pool right after me. No. That's, yeah, because you pee in it like the little kids. I pee in Brett's jeans. That's, he not told him. that's true. Let's hear from our friends over at Super Speciosa. We've talked about this stuff before, and we're talking about it again. Kratom is the all-natural herb related to the coffee plant that has been used in Thailand for centuries. Kratom helps energize your mind and relax your body. And really, it just helps you feel good without being impaired. Super Speciosa only has one ingredient, and that's pure Kratom leaf. There's several scenarios where you could actually use this. Maybe you need the extra courage to ask for that, you know, ask that special someone on a date. I was going to make a joke to one of you guys, but you guys are both married, so it's kind of hard to do that. Maybe you're trying to ask your boss for a little bit of a raise and you just need a little bit of confidence. Or maybe you're trying to run that extra mile because Kratom is often used as a pre-workout. For beginners, we recommend using the capsules because they're so easy to use. And we're talking specifically about the green strains. These are the most popular. They have 100% satisfaction guarantee or money back guarantee on your stuff. And guess what? They recently made a change. The code can be used again and again. So anyone that's trying to use it, just go over and try Kratom now and get 20% off. Go to GetSuperLeaf.com slash Steam and get 20% off with promo code Steam. That's GetSuperLeaf.com slash Steam and use promo code Steam for 20% off of your order. For that link, hit the description of this episode. I got to toss it to Dave, though. We got some sad news coming out of uh, somewhere. Yeah, uh, our president fell off his bike. Dude, we're not, we're not there oh, yet. A different sad We're story. not there yet. <laughs> no, um, headline. Drug gang's pet monkey found dead after bloody cartel shootout. Per New York Post, uh, the pet monkey of a drug gang member dressed up in a bulletproof vest and camouflage jacket has been killed. It's not funny. In a bloody shootout, which also left, sadly, 11 other cartel members dead. It's the cutest bulletproof vest I've ever seen. It's. I'm wondering if it was just for show. I'm wondering if that's actually like Kevlar or whatever. But it is mega cute. And uh, his name was El Changuito. El, El Changuito. And um, yeah, he uh, he went out with uh, the rest of his crew. Why well, they had to get the monkey? And like they that. they decided to release a photo of his of him sprawled out dead. It's kind of a, kind of like unnecessary, but he is wearing a camo little camo hoodie, which is mega cute. But rest in peace, Changuito. Why did they Why did they go in for the the kill on El Changuito? I'm sure it was just a. A Cross barrage fire. of gunfire and just he might have just I'm I'm hoping they weren't aiming for El Changuito. I hope it was accidental. Yeah. If if they were gunning people down and they saw the monkey, like, oh, we better get him too. And they like that's sorry. So would this it's sorry to shoot people too. Well, what monkey, would it would it change yeah. your would it change your take if what if El Changuito was strapped up himself? And honestly, that's a that's a possibility. What if he was clapping back with his little tiny spider monkey gun? He I mean, if they were smart enough too. to make him a small little bulletproof <laughs> vest for this little spider <laughs> yeah, monkey, like fair. you're going to tell me they're not going to get him strapped? What kind of gun would a, a tiny monkey carry? It's got to be a small caliber weapon, right? Yeah. Perhaps a 22 pistol or something. I don't I mean, know. If, but I, don't know if, I don't know if El Chinguito can do a little. Yeah, a 22. The 22 has no recoil. That's could, what I'm saying. Could you imagine a little spider monkey like with a shotgun, like a 12 gauge, and just it just blows him oh. back? That thing can't shoot a 12 gauge, Dad. No. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. And then boom, <laughs> just goes flying. This thing had to have been strapped, which is really funny to imagine. A little monkey with a tiny, cute little bulletproof vest on and just with a toolie in his hand. Who was the, the image? Like, so was this a cartel? Maybe it was a Uzi, a 9mm Uzi. Was this a cartel? 
Yes. So like which cartel member they already they already clearly had the monkey just kind of hanging out with them and like vibing. A, a man in his twenties. Which cartel well which cartel member like rolled up and was like, Hey, I think we need to I think we need to get him a vest like the ones we have. And then they were like, All right, do we have anybody like do, does anybody's wife uh like know how to sew or anything? What if we took this vest and like took a little fabric off of it and then we made this other vest out of it? Or like they bought like a G.I. Joe or like, you know, some kind of like it, does, does Ken, is there like a, a military Barbie? I don't know if they have a cartel Ken doll. Cartel Ken. Yeah, cartel Ken would go pretty hard. <laughs> he has a hoodie on. I don't know if you mentioned this. It's a camo did, did hoodie. You, yeah, he has a hoodie on. Yeah, you can barely see him. Dude, his candle burned out long before his legend ever will. The image that's going around. Okay, so the, the tweet, we have it up on, on the screen. If you're not watching at home, it's uh, very... Um, comparable to the harambe um ascending to the clouds with angel wings and it says el chiquito 2021 to 2022 and it's got like the sad face emojis all around it and it said on the on the tweet that like went off that we got this from it says like they really made this who's they did they really make this no one made this this is someone doing a bit no yeah they didn't make this like there's no way that they made this and (laughs) said and and put this out from like an official cartel there's no way but if they did that's amazing do we need to like the cartel stuff is very interesting to me mainly because it's like something that's just close to us the the netflix you know produced series on it are very engaging and well done and the the some of the the news stories that come out about some of these like bosses or what what would you call them the top dog bosses whatever yeah kingpin like it just makes for such an like an entrancing story but i feel guilty like fanboying cartel activity you, El, as El you Hefe. should yeah you want you don't want you don't want to romanticize it but that's what we're doing well, we're just talking no, about not we monkey. right now. We're talking. We're we're oh, paying like, tribute to El Changuito. Right. I'm mainly talking, but we romanticize it by you know being obs- like I was obsessed with Narcos Mexico and like, stuff. El Ch- yeah, El Chapo. I mean, you take away all the you know destroying of lives, the killing, and all that stuff. Yeah. He's a pretty. He's a content machine. He's pretty intriguing. Yeah. He's, you know. He's yeah. elusive. He's, He's quite a elusive. Elusive little guy. He also uh, has drip. Uh, that's but facts. again like the killing stuff like offsets all the cool stuff about uh it. dude like think about escobar like i mean legit legitimate terrorist yeah and at one point like the richest man yeah. in colombia maybe even he he might have been the richest man in the world at like one I, point. I was gonna say either he was or like his he had a what they were bringing in was more than any company in the world at that time doug the king of cocaine escobar is the wealthiest wow. criminal in history Oh, yeah. Is that the, what they call him and not Dylan? What? The king of cocaine? No, he's the, he's the prince. They have a, he amassed over an estimated net worth of $30 billion by the time Holy of his shit. death, equivalent to $64 billion as of 2021, while his drug cartel monopolized the cocaine trade in the United States in the early 1980s and 1990s. Do you think they were calling them nose beers back then? I, I don't know. <laughs> that <laughs> needs to come uh, back. Isn't there a resort in Tulum that they turned one of his old houses into? Well, the house Something that he like was that. Mur- he had a house that he was murdered at on the roof and that wasn't in Tulum though I think that no, was in Colombia. He probably had properties all over the place, you know. Is it one of those things though that like he just went there like one time and then and then they're like I think he it was his house. He used to vacation here all the time. Let me look at it. Let me look. Mm. Yeah, my dad actually bought one of Escobar's places. He didn't <laughs> turn his one of his places into a zoo because of all the exotic animals. Yeah, it was the place so the place was essentially a zoo yeah. where he actually got murdered. I did. I did a after I was watching something, and I got way too into reading about Pablo Escobar. Yeah, Pablo Escobar's Mexican hideaway is now a luxury resort. It's in Tulum. Let's go. People are just obsessed. Let's do a meet up there. People are obsessed with reading about like people who make their money in illicit ways. Same with mafia. Same with all that stuff. I know. Man. You know, there's just something. There's something. Something that just grabs me from the Mexican cartel side of things. It's just because Mexico is such a beautiful place. Yeah. Rest in peace, Al Changuito. When he was killed in 1993, the property sat abandoned and largely forgotten about until 2012 when it was uh, purchased. And now and, it's probably just Instagram influencers a, just taking ass shots by the pool. Casa Malca is what it's called. Opened in 2015. Let's go. Hmm. 
<laughs> kind of sick. Let's go finish some. Be- let's go delete some beers there. I mean, this it, is in Tulum. It looks it looks pretty dope. Yeah, it's in Tulum. Hmm. Could do a little, uh, do a little see a shaman. Or you you want to do a you want to do an ayahuasca ceremony? I'm not I'm trying, trying to micro do ayahuasca. all that. We could mic- we could do a we could just do a, a an Escobar tribute and just do we could microdose uh, cocaine. We could macro dose cocaine. Stop. Just kidding. I've Dude, never see, done you're that. such a bad influence. You never can't make jokes it, like that if you don't want to be the cocaine guy. It's probably more <laughs> I'm pure not down the there. Cocaine guy. Has anyone ever micro dose cocaine? They're, they're just like, yeah, I'm gonna micro dose yeah, it. And they suddenly just, they're just like, I need it. Cocaine. Cocaine. Yeah. Cocaine. Tight, tight, tight. Don't anyway, do R.I.P. El Changuito. Are they, is there any is there any place we can make donations in his name or anything like that? Just don't know if that's going to be necessary. <laughs> It'll go to the cartel. Well, yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> that's just, I don't think it's worth it, man. So we should just yeah. support him by buying illegal drugs. Are that's, they doing a service for him or anything? Do you remember that anti-drug ad from like a decade ago? It was like, if you buy drugs, you're supporting like the cartel. You're supporting like narco-terrorism. And you're just kind of, mm, yeah, we're going to go down that road. Okay, but... Uh, I mean, I think we're funding terrorism with every transaction we make, you know? I think these banks should be considered terrorists at this point. Dang. Hey, man, I just filled up my tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. Seriously, though, triple dig? Come on. Really? Yeah. It makes you feel like I'm... Jeep's I'm got a triples is best, though. I'm, I'm, no filling up, I'm filling up three quarters of a tank just because it, it makes me feel better. Dude, I'm it. a full boy. You should do that, fill it up halfway, and then that way... Every time you need to go back, you see what I'm saying? Yep. Shack. It's the shack method. Wait, what? Yeah, gas is cheaper if you don't fill up every time. It, if it feels that way, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> no, dude, Shack nailed this. <laughs> All it's you have to fill, do is just fill up halfway just and buy just less do that every it. time. Yeah. 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 It's weird. Like, also, food costs less when you buy half of the food that you would get too. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how that works, Shaquille. It's like saying Dude. if you want to save money on rent, just pay it like every two weeks instead of once a month. Exactly. So, there you go. Doesn't really work out at the end. What, Dave? Nothing. I was just I was just thinking Save about it, buying gas. It sucks. It's not great. I might just take that e-bike. If you guys want me to go to the gas station with you guys next time, I think I know of a couple ways that I could save you guys a few bucks. Huh. Sure. Please, please tell. My jaw is getting tired, though, in this economy. A lot of tubes that I'm sucking. Sucks to suck. Sucking this gas with. Oh, you're siphoning. Yeah. I thought you were setting up an ad read. No. Okay. No. Well, it's kind of an ad read. I do charge for my services of siphoning. So you just go around siphoning. People pay you to siphon. You don't do it, like, for humanity? You're trying to incriminate me? I thought you did it out of, like, the goodness of your own heart. What? Just sucking? Yeah. (laughs) It all depends who I'm sucking for. For the love of the suck. Yeah. I'm the Robin Hood of gasoline. You right. suck from the rich and give to the poor? Yep. Yep. You just, you just find nice cars and steal gas from them and donate them to lesser nice cars? Yeah. That's pretty nice of you. Yeah. I hail from Thoddington Forest. Thoddingham Forest. I'm sorry. Thoddingham. It's like Nottingham Forest. But for thoughts. Mm-hmm. That's how I got so good at sucking. But I thought you were just The doing, thoughts taught me. I thought you were just sucking gas. I'll, I'll suck anything if it's worth <laughs> sucking. <laughs> Okay. Gotta be worth sucking though. No, I hear you, man. Mostly gas though, yeah. Yeah. So I'll go to lunch with you today, Dave, and I'll go suck the gas. Yeah, it's all right. I brought actually brought leftovers. My wife cooked last night. Shout out to her. Uh a defined dish recipe. Wow. That it's, uh, like black pepper chicken. That's favorite. your favorite, dude. It, I love it. Highly recommend. Congratulations. Yes. I'll show it to you. Please. Oh, your food. Yes. Yeah. Can we hear from, is this a new sponsor alert or am I, have I just not been on an episode yet? I'm talking about our friends over at Shopify, baby. Not new, as far as I know. <laughs> Whatever. Like We can pretend. They're goaded. New sponsor. This is a classic case of uh, us having a sponsor that we already used before the sponsorship. You years can't ago. make this stuff up. Sh- Shopify has been uh, helping us put money in our pockets for literal years. Pretty much as long as we've been in the content game. Shopify gives entrepreneurs the resources once reserved for big business. So upstarts, startups, and established businesses alike can sell everywhere, synchronize online shops and in-person sales, and effortlessly 
stay informed. Scaling your business is a journey of endless possibility. When we started this company, we needed uh, we needed to get some merch off the ground and Shopify was right there for us. They make it very easy to set up your store. They make it easy to get all your documents in order for what you need for everything. I've been digging my hands into Shopify lately. Um, I'm, we're trying to relaunch our merch store. Yes. I don't, I don't know if that's breaking news or not, but we are. We're getting merch off the ground again. And look, if I can get in there and, and mess around with it, you can too. Because, you know, technology and old guys like me. We saw your tweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Yep. If the hunt and pet king himself can do it, you can do it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Shopify powers millions of businesses from first sale to full scale. They reach customers online and across social networks in an ever growing suite of channel integrations and apps, Facebook to Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest. They have so many apps that you can use on Shopify. It's super customizable and great. You can even synchronize your online and in-person sales and gain insights as you grow with detailed reporting of conversion rates, profit margins, and beyond. It's more than a store. Shopify grows with you. This is possibility powered by Shopify. Go to shopify.com slash circling all lowercase for a free 14 day trial and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash circling right now. Shopify.com slash circling. Uh, we got news in uh, former and recent presidents. Where do we want to start right now? Uh, can we start with Biden? Because I've been laughing at it. Sorry if you think it's not funny, but to me, I found it to be incredibly humorous. People falling off anything is funny. So, yeah, let's just start with that. Yeah. I saw pe people being like, oh, he's over, you know, he's, I don't know how old he is, 70 something. 79, you should, Dylan. You shouldn't laugh at this. Like, yeah, this is pretty funny. He's, he's okay, okay, right? I, I would hope we would so. Know you about do worry. Now. I know he's a, he's a brittle old bag of bones. But. Yeah. As he is 79. Right. For a lot of brittle old bags of bones, a, a fall on the hip can really, you know, that's yes. the first thing it can I end thought. things. Uh, luckily, I don't think I think I think per, you know, the lack of news, I think he's still alive. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, if that if that took him out, then we got. Yeah, he was a he was too fragile. To be Are we no longer country. a power in the world if, if our president dies from falling off a bike on vacation? <laughs> it was, the bike wasn't even in motion. He just tipped over. <laughs> Dude, he had the toe clips in, though. He was I, I heard he was bunny hopping before people started videotaping. Can it. I yeah. just say I, he was clipped in. Uh, this is not secret service. You should, you should not let your 79-year-old president ride a bike. I don't care. I don't care where he's going. I don't care how much padding he's got on. Stationary bike for, for late 70s president. I'm sorry. It is risky. I don't mean to be. Let's, I know it's a little ageist. That's a thing, Dylan. And uh, I just want to say I'm, an old guy. I'm looking up for the good of him, the good of you know future old presidents, because I don't think we're going to elect anybody under the age of 70 um, ever, maybe. So yeah, let's let's just let's keep them off the bike. Let's keep them keep them off the blades. That would be the thing. If if we can get Biden's on some blades, that would be sick though. What's more, what would be more humiliating, falling on blades or a bike? Bike. Blades are there's something funny about blades. Though. But you blade up, you you expect to fall, kind of. It's like but what? It, yeah, but would he have wrist guards on and stuff? Uh, you have you would have everything on. You can't have your president blading around with like wrist guards, knee pads, elbow pads, and helmet. But what if he's rocking swagless. like what if he's rocking like pit vipers with them? And it he is, like looks the, tight. The most swagless activity is is fully geared up for blading. Yeah, if you're gonna blade, that's a, that's the trouble. Yeah, because like, you should you should gear up, but like blading does not look cool when you're protect it like that no <sighs> it was so funny i when the video dropped i was just like oh man it's funny twitter's just, twitter's going to be awful today he just falls out of frame of the video which it makes it like you don't see the impact on the ground so it just makes it funnier to me he just falls out of frame i mean he is 79 if, if you're 79 year old like if if you that's that's certified grandpa age you, if you hear your grandpa's on a bike you're you're a little like shaky like uh is this the move? He's a one-term guy, right? I think so. Is he even going to run again? I don't know. I don't think he'd there's want no to. Way. Yeah, there's no old. way. There's no way. There's no way. He's too old. Being president is what keeps okay. me young. <laughs> it's what keeps me alive. Yeah. It's my secret. Yep. I like. I have to be in the, the oxygen in the Oval Office keeps me young. I go on one bike ride every morning. Yep. If the bike ride doesn't kill me, the fall at the end of it might. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we hope he's okay. Yeah, me too. Well, I mean, yeah, like you said, we would, we would know by now if he was not. Yeah. Unless they're hiding it. Do you think they're hiding it? Hmm. 
Do you think do you think big government is hiding the fact that our president is dead from falling off his bike? You think maybe he cracked his coccyx? Do you think this was payback? For it's a possibility. Do you, think this was, do you think this was the ghost of El Chinguito uh, <laughs> throwing him off the bike for calling the hit on the Mexican cartel? I don't think that was Vide's call. Yeah, I don't know if that's how that was, worked. I think it was a, probably another cartel. What if you rewatched the video and you saw this little flash, this little blur in the sky, and it was El Chinguito's angel, little angel coming down <laughs> from heaven and just beating the shit out of Biden? Is, he, is his angel vested up too? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's sick. Yeah. Is this Baron Trump photo real? Why is he the tallest person on earth? He needs to start working on his handles, man. Dude, he's like Bobon height. How tall is he? He's what? not seven foot, is he? <laughs> he? Apparently, he's six seven, and he's only fifteen years old. That's Luca. That's Luca. Yeah. What? How old is he? I think he's fifteen. Dude, he's a problem. Like, he needs to work on his footwork a little bit. Well, dude, I don't know if he does. Have you, have you remember that soccer video of him that came out like a year ago? He's sixteen. He's got handles. As of March 20th, he's 16. Dude, the ball's tied to his foot when he's on the soccer field. He's like Lionel Messi out Who? there. Baron Trump. Really? Do you remember that video? I haven't seen that I one. I think it was mainly a I think it was a stroke of luck, but there was a, you know, the, the there was a ball that came to him and the ball control that he had in this video was insane, but I think it was just an outlier. On a string, Dylan. On a string, dude. He, but that that must have been a foot ago, because he you can't you can't have the ball attached to your foot like that when you're six seven, right? It's too hard. Being six seven as like, like an, an adult is still very tall, but it's still kind of cool because you're just like the tall dude. But being that at sixteen, like you're walking around the high school just towering over these people, people are calling you names. How pumped is Trump that he He's, created a six foot seven person though? We had this conversation in my house yesterday that like what if. There's no one in my family that's above like 5'11". Is there a quote? What if Rhodes is like really tall? Is there a quote from Trump about how tall Baron is? I bet it's electric, whatever it is. Probably. He probably thinks he, like, oh, yeah, his, ge his genes are yes. superior. His that's, genes are the best. That's how it would go. Because they're magnificent genes. He would never fall off a bike. He would crumple <laughs> the bike. <laughs> Dude, if you're that tall, you also should not ride a bike. I'll say that. Yeah. He doesn't ride bikes. He rides motorcycles because he's a man. Wait, is he going to get recruited? He's getting recruited by all the top schools. <laughs> The best. <laughs> the best of the best. It doesn't help that the woman he's in this photo with is like five one. Correct. Yeah. Right. Like that does amplify this. But like, dude, his he could palm her head. Look how long that tie could is. Could he could he dunk this woman's skull into a basketball hoop right now? I mean, yeah, he could probably dunk her skull. I wouldn't skull. be surprised if he can't dunk right now. He looks he looks to not carry that that frame very well. He's like no, he's like a little kid still. He's just lumbering up and yeah. down the court. He's just just elbows everywhere, you know, flailing all about, just walking down the hallway. Was there anything worse than just getting bodied up in the paint? You just catch like a, a just an elbow to like the arm, and it's just it's just a bruise for like two weeks. Elbows are the worst in pickup basketball, man. See, I I just I wait in the wings, man, and people just kick me the rock. Yeah, I just, I just dump it down low to Baron, man. Let him go to work. Seriously, let him eat. Yeah, dude, he's a problem on the pick and roll. <laughs> he crashes the basket. He needs to go to short hair again, though. This, you can't, why, dude? This mop does not look good on him. Why? Dude, he's Chet. He's going three to Houston. <laughs> I don't think he. I don't think he has the same skill, the same skill set that Chet has. Chet said in like a pre-draft interview, like, I guess he's. What did he say? He's like, who? Who's the best player in the NBA? He says me in three months. Yeah. I just don't think that's good. Okay, be. Chet. First, come on. He's a string bean. He needs to add like 80 pounds. Me in three months. Me in three. I love the answer. That dude's so. That's like that's like McConaughey said that his role model was him 10 years ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And then 10 years before that. Yeah. It just went and then on. 10 years after that. Doesn't make his yeah. role model is his future self. Hey, man, that's our governor. It's He's not. Does he does he ball though? Like Baron, does he ball? I don't know. He Give plays. We know he plays soccer. Give him the rock. He's but, huge on the pick and pop. <laughs> he's not. Why are we acting like he needs to play basketball if he's this tall? Why can't he be like a? Why can't he be like a nose tackle or something? Like, nose well, tackles are weighs 170 pounds. Are famously not tall guys. Dude, I knew that though. <laughs> that <sounds like> <laughs> <laughs> I knew that for I mean, sure. He's, he's no. honestly like too tall. The best for thing football. he could do is if he was really Make him a tight beach. edge. He needs to be really into beach volleyball. He could be a hardcore of uh, like indoor volleyball player. Like he's Delph. the, he's the, the next net. Jimmy Graham. You know, Delph is a Delph's a volleyball guy. Yeah. 
Dude, can you imagine if Baron Trump was just the next, like, he was a, an Olympian in beach volleyball? Be sick. That'd be kind of sweet. If he ended up being like a legit athlete, that'd be really funny for everybody. It would be especially in like beach volleyball. Yeah. Okay, we can't handle it. We couldn't handle <laughs> it. No, I, I want something more mainstream. I want him on TV, you know? I want him to be like, like tune in to watch Baron play uh, Purdue tonight, you know? Well, he's in the final four with, at like. Why is he playing our accountant? <laughs> no, different Purdue, the oh. university. Oh, okay. Randy knows. <laughs> he does get it. Uh, yeah, he's tall. It's a, oh, we didn't even talk about it. like this tweet didn't do enough numbers unless it's but the guy who said that Tr Baron Trump looks like two kids in a suit, two kids stacked on top of each other in a suit. I mean, he's only sixteen. He he might be six nine, six ten at the end of the day, dude. Yeah, like he he might he might get close to seven. That'd be so sick. Is Trump pumping him full of stuff? Yeah. Yes. This he's kid got, is on something. He's on growth hormone. He's probably like kept him out of sports because he reminded him that like exercising, it just uses up your battery, your internal right. battery. Because, right. you know, I like imagining him bullying Don Jr. Yeah. Like Baron Trump for not being overweight. He's, it's a sloppy six, seven. He's in an awkward. He's 16. He's yeah. in a bulking phase. dude. Anyone, anyone who's 16 and six, seven is awkward. You're right. Yeah. There's That's never, there's <laughs> never been a, like a six, seven teenager with swag. You, you don't think he looks like Barrett when he takes his shirt off? No. God, Barrett. Why didn't Barrett stop? Just Dude, chill out. Why don't you, hey, you know what's funny is I don't think Barrett eats like, he's not like an obsessive clean eater type. I think no. he, he'll eat what he wants and yet he is he's like 7% body fat. He's a crazy metabo. Crazy. I want to look like Barrett. He's, it's, that's just natural. Remember I told you he, a long time ago, he said he only works out enough to maintain his physique. He doesn't want to get... Like he doesn't want to change anything about it. It's probably benefiting him. He doesn't have like unrealistic expectations. Like what a, we go in there, we're like, all right, I'll what a do place this. to be though in life. Three like, weeks, I'm gonna add an inch to my thighs. And he's next just thing like, you know, you're like back. Hurts. He looks in the mirror. He's like, I'm perfect. I want to stay exactly like the way I am right now. And he works out only to maintain. Amazing. His photo dump last night got me through the weekend. Oof. It's like, damn, you daddy. Photo dump something else, didn't you? Chill out. You need to relax. Dave. This is too close after El Chinguito's death to make jokes. <laughs> yeah, why is everything a joke for you? Yeah. I'm sorry. You play too it's much. It's a dark day. I just want, I want Baron to go D1 and something. I, I, I do, too. I want. I do, too. It'll end it's up being, like, crew or something. He'll go. Yeah. He can't be a crew guy. He's going to be a crew guy. He, he, he doesn't be, have the upper body strength for that. Not yet. Dude, he tipped the boat over. Get him on the row. Get him on the row machine. He'd be just lifetime. rolling alone, and the, the boat would be tilted up in the air, and other people would just be rowing air. <laughs> I want him to be like a Sean Bradley, like big, but people just abuse him in the paint. Didn't even like basketball. <laughs> just was like, I have no, this is what I have to do. Really? How tall was Sean Bradley? Seven, Seven six. six. Yeah. If you're that tall, like, do you just make up, do you just like, even if you don't like sports at all, you just say, well. He was, he was on a lot of posters back in the day. Yeah. T-Mac famously. Guys would like go out of their way to like. They saw him. Like, um, they're not. They're not taking that shot. They're taking it to the rack. <laughs> yeah, it's not what you want. No, no it's got to be a stressful life. Like every game, you're like God damn. It. Not, who is it? You're like looking at the roster. You're like, yeah. You made a nice living though. Yeah, T Max definitely gonna throw one down on me. <laughs> <laughs> you're just head on a swivel at all times. He's just so tall. You're, you're like always oh, on God poster damn, alert. Got, like the Raptors. Block fucking, something, dog. V VC's about to like end me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. VC's coming for that ass. Someone Photoshop Dylan posterizing Barron. Barrett or Barron? Barron. Okay. Yeah, it's confusing <laughs> that we're talking about two different people that have Bear uh, as their uh Very different their physiques on the, on the two young men. Yeah. Can you imagine if Barron <laughs> we don't was as tall as he is and built like like Barrett? He'd, he'd have an offer from every every program in the country. And still that haircut, though. No. He's, he's got to do something get, about he that. Does got, he got to trim that up. Yeah, it's too floofy. Mm -hmm. You don't like it when the six seven guy has a shag. No, I like a shag. This is not a good one though. This is too like it's too voluminous. Voluminous, he says. Wow, must be nice. Yeah, seriously. <sighs> oh, can we hear from our friends over at Policy Genius before we uh, ride into the sunset on this episode? Sure. You know, a lot of people question why get life insurance. If someone relies on you financially, a child, a parent, even a business partner, guys, life insurance gives you the peace of mind that they have a financial cushion if something happens to you. I mean, there's so many reasons to get life insurance. 
So why get covered now? Typically, life insurance gets more expensive as you age, so it's smart to get the policy sooner rather than later. And if you're worried about the price, they make it easy to compare all the options from top companies so Policy Genius can help you make sure that you're not paying a cent more than you have for the coverage that you need. If you already have coverage through work, no problem. Having life insurance to your job may not be enough. Most people need up to 10 times more coverage to properly provide for their families. And if you've got a big life event coming up, whether you're graduating from school, planning a wedding, welcoming a baby, or switching jobs, now's the time to protect your family's finances. Here's how it works. You guys ready for this? Ready. Now's the time to listen, guys. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find the insurance that you need at the right price. Head over to policygenius.com to get started. And in minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from top companies to find your lowest price. You could save 50% more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. The licensed agents over there are on hand through the entire process to help you understand your options and make decisions with confidence. And they, their team works for you and not for the insurance company so you know you're getting a good deal. Policy Genius doesn't add extra fees. They don't sell your info to third parties and they have thousands of five-star reviews across Google and Trustpilot. They also have options that offer coverage in as little as a week to avoid unnecessary medical exams. Since 2014, they've helped over 30 million people shop for insurance and have placed over $150 billion in coverage. Head over to policygenius.com to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. Again, go to policygenius.com to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. When we do company retreats here, are we essentially just doing uh, meetups? Is that, is, that our, is that our MO? We don't really do company retreats at this company. Our company retreats are us going to Carve. Us going to, you know, Longhorn Steakhouse. Or to Butler Pitch and Putt without you. Yeah, that was cool. That looked yeah. really fun, honestly, Sorry, that man. day. And I was just kind of bummed, but whatever. All right, dude. Well... Uh, there's a Swiss company that did a company retreat recently, and uh, and it turns out uh, 25 of the employees of the ad agency were injured Tuesday evening while walking over hot coals in Zurich. Mm. Ten ambulances, two emergency medical teams, and police offer officers from multiple agencies were deployed to help, uh, and 13 people were briefly hospitalized because they all decided to walk across coals as a company. They They've seen the office one too many times. Right? They did this on the office, right? Yes. Yes. Pam Pam successfully did it when no one was watching. You guys ever seen that show? <sighs> yeah. Dude, how horned up is Randy right now? For, for Coles? He's just like, oh, someone take Coles? Coles cash? Coles? Huh? huh? Cole? Oh, Coles. Yeah, you get it. Because he likes the store, but we're talking about the hot yes. coals that people walk across. He can't get over these hot deals at Coles. Right. Yeah. How did it take this many people to figure out that this was a bad idea. I think these people are just soft because I feel like at any Tony Robbins seminar, people do this and they're fine. But maybe they maybe they had too many coals. They hit a lot. It was too far of a distance. You are they touching for like a split second, right? And you're fine. Kind of like you put your hand through a, a flame. You just can't leave it there. You feel but me? But Duke, is there a company that like does corporate retreats and they're like, no, do you guys want the hot coals? Like that's an extra thousand dollars on the retreat. How about we just do like a cold plunge? Yeah. Like, but after one person went across, how did 20 more, 25 more employees go across? Peer pressure, man. Just or pressure from your, from your uh, employer. Like, hey, you got to do this, dog. They sent the, the my legs don't get cold guy across first. And he was like, no, dude, it doesn't hurt. It's totally fun. As, as his feet are just blistering. Just bubbling with third degree burns. Yeah. I, I, does it say what, what was different about this? Or is it just... No, like, it's, I, I think it's just like a, a team building. I, I don't think there's anything actually special about yeah, this. It was just a team building situation. Growing up, I often didn't wear shoes around the neighborhood in an effort to build up the calluses and get strong feet. However, I, I don't think I would even test those out on hot coals. I don't, I'm at the age now where like the, the, the mental hurdle of, of uh, achieving that and walking across hot coals is not worth it to risk like two weeks with bandaged up feet where I'm like immobile. Like if, that's the worst. If I, I planners work and was down for like a month. If I ever find myself in a scenario where I see my fellow employees walking across hot coals, I'm probably going to quit that company before I actually walk across the hot coals myself. I, that's not, that's not a company I want to be working for. Okay. But what if, what if you're with, you know, all of your coworkers and everyone does it and they come on the other side that are just fine. 
You can't be that guy. That I'm just questioning. I'm questioning the leadership. I'm like, what leadership book did this dumbass manager read that is now leading us to possibly burning the bottoms of our feet? Like, why why do we need to do this as a as a team? There's got to be a new, just like a new version of this. Because like, I feel like the hot coals thing's been around forever. Just do some trust falls and call it a day. Don't tabletop though. Tabletops and trust falls. Well, this wasn't a retreat, but before I started at Grand X, I had to pledge for two weeks under Dylan. It's true. Yeah. I mean, and it wasn't that bad. You made it through. Dude, it was the best two weeks that I never want to do again. Yeah. I got on. <laughs> I made some lifelong friends during That's that time. That's the most annoying phrase of all time. <laughs> Your son will never do it. I was like, like, no, this has been miserable. Afterward, Will walked up to me and just put his arm around me. He goes, we're brothers now. We're brothers for life. Hey, we're brothers for life. Yep. Yep. Oh my God. No, we're not. I was like, dude, does this mean I have to pick you up at the uh, yoga yoga studio when you show up to the wrong address for your first day? What I wanted to say when that dude said that. Dude, that, that was part of the pledging. Dylan gave me the wrong address like, and told me to show up. Yeah. After college, I'm never going to talk to you again. And I haven't. I don't think Dylan even knew we were hiring you. I no. feel like nobody, like the only people who knew was like, was like the higher ups. And like, you just showed up one day and people were like, Sometimes the hires didn't even didn't even know about some about of them didn't. Things. Oh, my first day. Probably so my first day, getting. I show up to Grand X, and I I I, sh- I don't show up to Grand X. I Google the address for Grand X, and I show up to the <laughs> yoga studio that now resides where Grand X was. I, I yoga, text yoga. I text Dave, and I'm like, Yeah, I think I'm at the wrong place. And he's like, Dude, I know where you are. Let me. I'm I'm right down the street. Let me come get you. We go in, we go straight to the conference room. I sit down with Dave. They, he, Dave gives me a laptop. It's my first Apple laptop. So I think I'm just big balling right now. I you were. Said you I'm in a conference room. I, I've, I never, I've never worked it. somewhere with a conference room before. Like, we're, we're, this is tight. You Too were much, legit. apparently. And then uh, I, the first person that I meet after that is Dylan, who walks into the conference room. Uh, Dylan, was, Dylan was very nice, very like, nice guy. Whatever. Um, but you, I could tell that like, you, were, you were in work mode. I was probably about like firing up something that was super hot about to go viral. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, no, Dylan's in management mode right now. Like I this guy might not even talk to me for the next like three weeks. Who knows? And then, that, then Chad came down. Yeah. Like the the, next, remember when hashtag and the cowboy guys came down? Yeah. There was a brief period there where I was just gun shy. But then I got to meet DVD who wore a cowboy hat to work that day. And I was like, who's this random video dude who wears cowboy hats to work every day? His mom is my dentist. She was mine. Then Dylan made me pledge. And I, I ate his gaming chair. I missed that chair. Uh-huh. And Dylan always made sure I had a dime bag in my pocket in case he needed a quick fix. What year did you start at Grand X? I don't know. 2015, I think. Dime bag's just not you were enough. before Micah, right? Yeah, I was just before Micah. Just, okay. I was just before Micah. It's always nice when you're the new guy and then a new hire starts, so you're not the new guy anymore. It, it, yes, correct. Didn't Rachel start right after you too? She started before me. Oh, she did. Yeah, I started. I started right around the same time as a lot of people. It made it much easier on me. Yeah, that's nice. If you guys are ha- if it, not not to be like a jerk or anything, but if you guys have, would have said like, yeah, we actually have a company retreat this weekend and we're walking across hot coals, I was probably going to make up some excuse to not do that at Grand X. Oh, like you like you did for the turkey trot when you stubbed your toe or whatever. I definitely made that up. Definitely made that up. I also made up a trip to Houston so I didn't have to be in the beer Olympics video. That's fine. Dude, look, look, man, you don't have to, oh, you I didn't just, have to make up anything. I just said, yeah, I'm not doing it. I even just, I, I wasn't supposed to go to Houston that weekend. And I just drove to Houston because I had to, I had to actually put out the we, vibe. But I we actually, uh, we actually planned the, the meetup this weekend. So I don't have to be in town. God, it was a great career move not being in that video. It was, it was very happy for all of us. So yeah, I guess we're, should we do hot coals at, uh, at Ooh. our next meetup? Ooh, yeah, let's for sure do it. I want to know if, this, if the company like set the hot coals out themselves, or if like the place that they I know. leased out did it for for them. You know? I tried to I tried to see, and it doesn't say, but it says they're t- <laughs> the promises made by corporate retreat organizers are frequently unjustified. They t- they're telling you that it's all in your mind, and this will give you powers that will continue. It's not in your mind. Anybody can do it, and I don't think that the confidence you get from this is necessarily going to last that long. Mister Whatever said that the coals at one or were at one thousand degrees are safe to walk on for twenty feet or more. And that he walked on coals at that temperature for 495 feet without getting a blister. That's kind of an unnecessary flex after 25 people went to the hospital. <laughs> Dude, I did it for almost 500 feet. That's something that I would say. How Just pissed was he when he oh, got I to 495 it. feet and to get the extra five feet to go 500? 
But you got to breathe, man. Wait, that's how Still long mental. it was? I kind of wasn't listening. It was 500 feet? No, he said he's, these people were doing 20 feet. He said that he's done oh. 495 feet. Okay. Just being a total hardo for no reason. What's this guy's problem? This says that a brisk walk with your bare feet comes into contact with the coals for just a second. It is not enough time for the heat to be transmitted painfully from the coals to human flesh. Both the coals and skin have vastly lower thermal conductivity than, mm. for instance, metal. I'm still not doing it. No. I'm out. I'm just at a point where I'm confident with like my mental toughness. I don't really need to do it. I consider myself mentally tougher if I just tell people I don't want to do that. You're more, yeah, you're more mentally tough if you tell your company like, hey, I don't want to walk on these hot coals when everybody else did it. Yeah. A bunch of these bitches are going to have to call out in a couple of days because they're all like hospitalized. What was this company? Walk. An ad agency? Yeah, like, an ad agency hey, in we Switzerland. Hey, we, we sell ads. Yeah. Yeah. This is that. A, it. We're not going to war. Yeah. <laughs> the graphic designer over there is like crying in the corner because he, just, he like, just burned his feet. Yeah. I, I work at a computer all day. Yeah, I just don't like, need this. I make pitch decks. <laughs> well, get me out of here. <laughs> Like, you got you got to do that looks like the liver king at the end of it like no walk across the coals <laughs> <laughs> come on kyle come on so fuck you dude give me a break dog yeah dude i'm just uh, good at i'm good at fucking indesign i don't want to walk across coals i just need a lappy and a cup of coffee and i'm good i don't need this yeah chill out all right i just got an email that said the hotline's down nice i just i just updated the credit card information how, so many, how many hotlines do we have? Two. He would make it bling. It's the six. It's the circling back one that we actually use. I, I just changed it. Psh, what the hell? We'll figure it yeah. out. Uh, All right, guys. Like we said, meet up Houston Ninth, Houston, Texas. Let's make it happen. Spread the word. Be there. Tell a thousand of your closest friends. Be ready to jersey swap. Yep. Yeah. Bring bring something you're not, you're going to be willing to jersey swap with. Let's us. just call it the jersey swap, dude. Let's do it. I'm in. What do what do females do? They wear. They can jersey. They swap. wear. Yeah, they can. But say, sure. Yeah. As long as they're not getting, you know, no one, no one's getting naked at this. Well, we don't know that. Well, I'm not. I'm not condoning anyone getting naked. Ah. So if anyone at the bar comes after us, I'm going to tell if them. You want to no. get naked? That's your. That's your deal. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. It's been real. Bye.